What's up guys, Haley on here, and I just saw the new Flash movie, so uh, let's talk about it, because it's pretty cool. Uh, don't worry, this is going to be spoiler free. Um, hopefully you guys get a chance to see it soon, because there's a lot of really cool stuff and surprises in it. Anyways, um, it stars Ezra Miller, and obviously he's the Flash, and the Flash um, discovers like the ability to go like back through time um, so the whole movie is kind of about you know going back through time and saving his mom and all that stuff um, which is in the trailer so don't worry it's no spoilers uh, so he goes back in time and you know meets his parents and like finds his other self and the whole movie is pretty much centered around like him being like the older uh, Barry Allen and um, and he's like with his younger self and there's like a lot of really cool like you know character progression that way because he kind of sees like his younger self as like you know the annoying younger self that he was and everything and uh, I just, you know, I thought the movie was really cool, even though there's, like, a lot of bad press around Ezra Miller right now, um, which is unfortunate. Uh, you know, I thought the story was pretty solid, and I, I really did feel the emotions of him, like, actually wanting to, like, save his mom and be with his mom and stuff, and, and to be totally honest, I'm pretty, like, burnt out on this whole, like, multiverse and all this and that, um... But this was pretty refreshing. I recommend you guys see it if you guys can. Um, it's a lot different, obviously, than than my favorite, the Batman. It, it's like a, a totally different universe. Um, I don't know what this car is waiting for. <laughs> okay then. Um, yeah, it's like you know the Ben Affleck. Uh, Batman and uh, also in the trailer it shows you know Michael Keaton which was awesome in this movie uh, he was the first Batman I've ever saw uh, in a theater in uh, Ames Iowa when I was like a little kid right so it's crazy to see him in this film and like the Danny Elfman like uh, musical score and everything from like 1989 and 1992 and stuff um, seeing that in 2023 is a uh, and hearing it, you know, you just can't help but, like, that nostalgia and, like, you just smile because it, you know, there's a lot that uh, music, a musical score can bring to a movie and, you know, just, like, your sense, one of your senses is obviously um, hearing, so when you hear that, it, it also, like, you know, stimulates, like, this part of your brain that um, relates that sound that musical score with this specific character, which is awesome, and um, I would say he was kind of like the marketing tool, kind of. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that Michael Keaton like stole the show, but he's kind of like the big bad, and like you know the the badass guy in this movie, uh, which is cool. You know, it, it's a Flash movie, but. Uh, Michael Keaton's like the big badass in this movie. Um, also, uh, my favorite character, I thought Supergirl was a badass in this movie. Uh, Kara? Yeah, she was like super badass. I wanted to see uh, more with what's going on with her, but unfortunately, like this... Um, DCEU like storyline is probably gonna come to a close here pretty soon with James Gunn coming in you know to take over for the new line of movies new series of movies uh, which is unfortunate because like it's a different kind of Supergirl than what you're expecting if you're even expecting a certain kind of Supergirl like uh, without spoiling anything um, like her fighting and like her fight scenes and uh, uh, with 
certain people that she fights in the movie is just like really awesome and I just so curious about that character but unfortunately we're, we're probably not going to see much from her after this line ends. I think there's like what Aquaman left and then uh, Blue Beetle and then it's like the new James Gunn stuff. But I thought like the cinematics were pretty good, like completely different than uh, Matt Reeves' The Batman, obviously. Like this one was a lot more comic book movie type as far as, you know, like effects and everything and just like the way it was filmed. The opening scene I thought was like when when you guys watch it, you're, I don't know, I, I, I really just can't wait for you guys to see this because there's a lot of really good surprises in this movie and the opening scene was just like, really? Are they, are they really doing this? <laughs> so you guys are going to have to let me know in the comments uh, if you guys plan on seeing this movie or not. Um, to wrap things up, I guess I don't know what more I could say without like spoiling the movie. Oh. definitely my favorite in this movie and I, I really really do hope that we see more of Supergirl um, but I ah, it sucks because I, I doubt we will I wanted to add like how I rate my movies as far as like a theatrical experience like would I go see this in theaters would I recommend you guys to go see this in theaters and my recommendation would definitely have to be yes with this I, I really do love the characters uh, if you're a fan of Batman and the Flash and any capacity, then yeah, you should definitely go see this. There's there's just so much cool surprises, and I really can't talk about much without uh, you know spoiling anything that's outside of the trailer. So, anyways, uh, let me know if you guys are planning on seeing the movie this weekend, or I'm I'm definitely for sure gonna go see it again. But let me let me know if you guys are planning to go see it. If you guys have uh, seen it already. Let me know what you guys think. It sucks because Ezra Miller is really good in this movie and um, he's just like surrounded by bad press right now. So that sucks. Oh, I thought that car was going to go for a second. Like you really didn't see me. Okay. So that's it for me. Um, if you guys found this video fun, uh, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more motorcycle content and movie content that's pretty much primarily what's going to be on this on this channel so yeah let me know what you guys think of the flash uh, my name is Haleon and I will talk to you all later